Good evening, everybody. Greetings from your local YouTube Petco employee advisor person. Uh, I decided that I would put up another quick video um, just to give you kind of um, a basic overview of a topic that a lot of people are kind of confused on. It's something that I see um, at the pet store a lot and um, I usually spend a lot of time talking with people about it and uh, it has to do with um, dog and cat food. Mostly dog food is kind of uh, the biggest thing out there these days. There's a lot of confusion I want to say just based on my experiences with talking with people um, as for uh, which brands are good brands, what to look for in food. Dogs it's different um, because the different breeds are going to have uh, different nutritional requirements. You know, uh, Labradors, um, Retrievers are going to need eventually um, usually something that's going to help lubricate the joints, you know, the hips and everything like that. So usually doing a food with, uh, sorry that's my bird squawking in the background, um, usually they have to have something in their food at a later stage um, that's called glucosamine and chondroitin. And essentially it's a lubricant for um, the hip joints mostly because that's what the, those breeds are kind of well known for having. Do some research online on your specific brand, I know, or not brand, breed, and because um, I know a lot of people out there, they have um, mixed breeds. Uh, not many people are fond of the word mutt. It's not a bad term, you know, we're all kind of mutts in a way. People are, are mutts anyhow, so. I mean that in the very best way. What you ultimately need to look for in a pet food is really going to uh, be determined by what your individual pet needs. Not just by their breed, um, but by their weight, if they're an indoor animal, if they have food allergies, um, and their age essentially. Um, the downside of a lot of these brands is that they tend to spend more money on advertising than they do on quality ingredients that go into the pet food. Take a look around, see what you can find, see what's available in your area, and again, like I said, check the ingredients and everything. Um, but basically what this little pamphlet here goes over are natural, holistic, and organic ingredients. And I'm just going to read through essentially what each one um, means. <laughs> so with the natural food, um, it's saying that natural food has all the vitamins, nutrients, and minerals your pet needs with none of the chemicals and byproducts they don't. Uh, byproducts are basically the parts of the animal that people don't eat. So, and it can include a lot of different uh, organs, um, a lot of different kinds of tissues like skin. Um, occasionally there will be less appealing uh, parts included. So byproducts in general, they're used as a protein source, but they're not considered a very good quality protein source. Um, it's kind of the equivalent of like McDonald's or Taco Bell. Uh, natural food undergoes no chemical processing and contains no additives, preservatives, artificial colors or flavors, hormones or antibiotics. Natural food is mostly free of allergens that uh, can cause upset stomach, skin irritations, and irritable bowels. It's never fun. Natural food takes great care to make sure your pet gets the very best, including essential amino acids, proteins, omega-3 fatty acids, quality carbohydrates, and antioxidants for healthy skin and coat, strong teeth, muscles and joints, high digestibility, and good taste. A holistic food focuses on bringing harmony to your pet's overall health. A holistic approach to nutrition is a whole approach that concentrates on your pet's overall physical, mental, and emotional health instead of focusing on individual systems. Holistic food uh, keeps your pet's body in sync and allows for an increased maximum potential for function and happiness. Holistic food targets the whole body through the belief that all systems are connected and in balance. Uh, in that the body can cause a range of problems throughout the body's systems. For some reason this just seems to read weird to me right now. By keeping the mind and body balanced, your pet will be more resistant to disease, get more relief from pain, and enjoy a higher level of well-being. Um, it doesn't really go into a whole lot of information about what's actually in holistic foods, but if you think of, um, there's even, there are books out um, at like Barnes and Noble and Borders and such on superfoods, um, things you know, cranberries, blueberries for you know, antioxidants and such. Um, holistic foods, a lot of the times, will include um, a lot of 
uh, different fruit and vegetable sources and higher quality protein sources. Um, and they typically, they're going to be um, along the lines of natural food in that they're not going to have a lot of um, uh, synthetic uh, chemicals and preservatives and such going into it. So it's going to have um, basically the same benefits of a natural diet, but again, it's not going to focus on the individual systems. It's essentially going to treat the body as a whole, and uh, that way it's essentially helping all of the organs of the body to function together um, in one of the most efficient ways that it can. So I, it tends to be one that I like to um, recommend. So I know when I get, eventually get a dog, I'll be doing a holistic diet. So organic food is free of pesticides, growth hormones, synthetic fertilizers, antibiotics, byproducts, and bioengineering. Organic food goes through a rigorous screening process by the USDA in order to be labeled organic and organic farms are routinely checked to make sure uh, they are in compliance. Organic food can also help sustain the environment. Generally, farms that produce certified organic food use renewable sources and practices to sustain the environment. No synthetic chemicals are introduced into the soil or groundwater from organic farming techniques. Organic food guarantees your pets um, are getting the exceptional nutrition, my brain shutting down right now, the exceptional nutrition they deserve and you are contributing to a healthy environment. It just gives you kind of a general idea of what each of the individual foods, um, at least these three types of foods, um, have to offer. And it's something that you can always take a look online if you want more specific details uh, of the different kinds of ingredients that go into the food. And I will um, next time I'm at the, the store, which is going to be in a couple of days, um, we've got information posted there um, for the different uh, ingredients that you can find on labels. And a lot of them, you know, they've got the technical terms, you know, carbonate and all this other kind of stuff. Uh, so I will make a copy of all that and make up another video that will tell you just what it is you are looking at with those ingredients and what their specific purpose is within the food whether and a lot of it has to do with flavoring um and preservatives so it kind of depends on what you're looking at so i will do my best to try and get that um, information to you guys as soon as i can um if you have any questions comments want to make fun of me for rambling being tired and um just overall weirdness uh Leave a comment, send me a message, whatever you guys feel like doing, and I will talk to you later. And I need to go check on my bird. I'm waiting for her to scream at me again. Right. Have a good night, guys. Bye.